Question 1. What is SPATH? Answer. SPATH is an important and core component of XSLT standard. It is used to traverse the elements and attributes in an XML document. Question 2. What are the main features of SPATH? Answer. SPATH is a major element in the XSLT standard. It is syntax for defining parts of an XML document. SPATH stands for XML Path Language. It is used for navigating in XML documents. It can be used to query data from XML documents. It uses path expressions to navigate in XML documents. SPATH expressions are case sensitive. Question 3. What do you mean by SPATH expressions? Answer. SPATH defines a pattern or path expression to select nodes or node sets in an XML document. These patterns are used by XSLT to perform transformations. SPATH specifies seven types of nodes that can be output of the execution of the SPATH expression. Root, element, text, attribute, comment, processing instruction, namespace. Question 4. How many types of nodes in SPATH? Answer. There are seven kinds of nodes in SPATH. Element, Attribute, Text, Namespace, Processing Instruction, Comment, Document Nodes. Question 5. What are the different types of operators in SPATH? Answer. SPATH operators can be categorized in different category according to their property. Following are the different types of SPATH operators. Comparison operators, Boolean operators. Number functions slash operators, string functions, node functions slash operators. Question 6. What do you mean by SPATH Boolean operators? Answer. Boolean operators are simple words and or not etc. used to combine or exclude keywords. They connect your search words together to either concise or expand your set of results. Question 7. What do you understand by SPATH number functions? Answer. In SPATH, number functions are used to fetch the different type of values from the expressions. For example, ceiling value, floor value, etc. There are four types of number functions in SPATH. Ceiling, floor, round, sum. Question 8. How to define relationship among nodes? Answer. There are following types of nodes in SPATH. These nodes are related to each other to form a tree-like structure. These nodes are parents, children, siblings, ancestors, descendants. Question 9. What are the different standard functions in SPATH? Answer. SPATH has more than 101 built-in functions. These built-in functions are used in Boolean values, string values, numeric values, date and time comparison, sequence manipulation, etc. Question 10. What happens about the presence of the top-level element in XSLT? Answer. The top-level elements don't have any effect on the behavior of XSLT elements. The functions that are defined with it also don't have any affect in the document. The top-level elements are not permitted to be used by specifying the XSL apply templates. XSLT process is provided to ignore the top-level elements and ignore some of it if an error occurs. XSLT top element element doesn't recognize the namespace URI and can be provided using other sources. Question 11. What is SPATH syntax? Answer. The SPATH syntax specifies the different nodes, SPATH expressions, SPATH notation, predicates and URLs which are used to define the XML document. Question 12. What are the different types of location paths in SPATH? Answer. There are two types of location paths used to specify the location of node in XML documents. These paths are absolute or relative path. 